Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily play a song backwards. Now this is a very popular YouTube thing and if you do a quick YouTube search for a song played backwards you will get thousands of results all containing a song played completely in, re in reverse. Now I've had a lot of people ask me how to do this so I will be showing you in this tutorial. Now there's two ways to do this and both I'm going to show you are free and one is actually built in which is through QuickTime Player. So I'm going to load this up and you're going to want to go to file and then open file. Do not open a URL or an image sequence or recent. Make sure to open a file. Now, if you already opened a file before, then you can open recent, but if you have not, don't worry about it. Now, I'm going to be, going to be using a song by Weird Al Yankovic. I bought it on eBay. Now, this is a very popular song on YouTube. And I'm just going to drag the playhead almost to the end, leaving just a pixel of space. And up in view, I'm going to click on loop back and forth right here. Just like that. And now if I go back to my window. Now, it sounds as if it's going backwards, but your mind is actually tricking you into thinking that it's a pattern. Actually, it's taking little bits of the song and playing them forwards. So, it appears that it's playing in reverse, but it's actually not. And if you're wondering, yes, that is the reason why there was little pauses every half a second or so. So, I don't really like to use it that way. You can if you want, but personally, I don't like that way. The second one is also free. It's a free application called WavePad. And it looks just like this. It's even available for PC. And it's a free audio editing utility. Now, as it isn't one of my favorite utilities, it is a great thing for playing something in reverse. So I'm going to click on open file. I'm going to find my file. Once again, I bought it on eBay by Weird Al Yankovic. And it can take a minute to load. I once had to wait at least five minutes for something to load but it is pretty much worth it and you'll notice the difference between this quality and QuickTime's quality okay so here it is and I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger just like that and now I'm going to click anywhere to make sure that this little yellow bar and if you can't see it I'll zoom up on the black is inside your window. If it is not inside your window, then you won't be able to add any effects like the reverse filter. And once you have it selected, you're going to want to go to Edit, Select All, which will make your screen blue. If it's not blue, or if Select All cannot be selected, then your playhead was not inside the frame. Now go to effects and reverse and here it is. So click anywhere in the beginning and I'm just going to start to play this. <laughs> Now that 
was truly in reverse because there was no pauses at all. And to save that in reverse, you can go to File, Save File. And you could save it anywhere at all. And once you say save, you could save project. Just like that. And you're going to have to choose an application. You could use iTunes, you could choose QuickTime, whatever. But that's the basic way to play a song backwards on your Mac. Now, I just want to remind you to visit the Know Your Mac website. You can find video tutorials. You can find exclusive content only available to members. And you can even purchase services only available to Mac members. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe.